morning guys, so today is Sunday the 2nd of September and officially the second day of autumn and I love this time of year because it's just, oh, so cosy and things, even though actually the weather's not actually quite bad, it's like quite warm for this time of year, but I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing today, I'm not sure if I'm going to be staying in or going out, I might just have a home day today because obviously I've been quite busy for the last couple of weeks and I've got a busy week next week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to try to get a bit more footage of Esme today because I, she just she just just started. She just learned to sit up by herself. She didn't sit up very long by herself, but she sits up by herself and like she just started learning to like command the crew and she's getting up on her hands and knees now and like, I I just love it. Like now she's at that age where she's moving about and she's at like, she's also at that age where she likes to grab things and it's just I just love that sort of age what she's doing. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure whether to go out. I might just take Esme for a little bit. I needed, I might put to my local Morrison's. Don't know yet. I was thinking to go to the local coffee shop, just to go and grab a coffee and just get out the ice for five minutes. But I think it's shut today because it's Sunday. And yeah, I'm not planning on doing a race today because I just don't feel like a race today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do though. Once I decide, I shall let you all know. I was having for breakfast this morning, apple, mango and banana, I was going to give her a bit of taste but I've not got no butter till I go to the shop so um, I'm going to give her this, I'm going to get her ready and then I go to the shops. These little ones had her breakfast and now she's playing with her spoon. <laughs> yes. And I, I think it's time for her to go down for a nap in about 10 minutes because she normally goes a nap. Go down for a nap after she's had her breakfast and a bit of a bottle. So yeah and then I shall be filming <laughs> my 21 week update when she goes to sleep I'm not sure yet though no that's my is that nice is that spoon nice as you can see guys that's the spoon i got her yesterday and she actually likes it <laughs> yeah because you're quite funny with your spoons in you yeah yeah she's still in her pajamas by the way Is you having a bit of playtime today? Is you gonna do your little commando crew and show everybody how you cruise? Are you? Esme? Hey! Hello! What are you doing? <laughs> Esme, are you gonna show mummy how you cruise? Are you gonna show everybody how you commando cruise across the floor? Esme? Es. Oh, I can see that big belly. Hello, girly. Oh, you're not happy being down there today. See, because you moved away from all of your toys. Have you moved all the way? <laughs> Come on, then. Mummy's here. Are you not going to show everybody how you crawl? Not today, you say, Ma. Not today. That's me. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> She's looking for her daddy. Where's your daddy? <laughs> I don't think she could do it in them pajamas. We just got to get you dressed. Or say, Ma, it's a Sunday, so I'm allowed to stay in my pajamas. I don't think I'm going to catch your commando crew. I don't think I'm going to catch it. I don't. You ought to stop recording and she'll do it. Look how cute you look in your new coat. Did you look cute? Did you look cute? Yeah, it's just a little bit too big in the arms. But that's all right because i got small arms, Mummy. So as you can see, guys, this little munchkin didn't sleep very long. And we're going to go and get ourselves ready in a minute because we're going to go out for a couple of hours. A friend texted me to say fancy coming out for a bit. Well, I mean, she wants to go for lunch, but I'm not sure. So I thought, why not? Sundays are pretty boring for us anyway. Got nothing else planned or anything else to do. So I thought, why not? Let's go out for a bit. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but obviously you'll be coming along with us. So yeah, we thought get this little munchkin ready because she's still in her PJs. Because it's Sunday, I think it's sometimes what's the point in getting dressed if we're not going anywhere? Um, her daddy took her down the shop this morning in her new coat and she looks so cute in her new coat and it's just a little bit too big in the arms there's actually bits of quite alright like lengthways which is not in the arms because she's got quite small arms so yeah I'm gonna go and get her ready now I'm gonna get myself ready and then I 
I shall let you know where we're going. And everything, I will be making sure that my batteries are fully charged before I go anywhere. So, let's get Esme ready. This is a current situation. I'm meant to get an Esme's coat on and she no nights on mummy just before we're about to go, go and leave. Nice one, Ed. There she is, she's all ready in her pram. Now I'm just um, waiting in house for a bit because I just checked the bus and because um, it's Sunday service, it, Sunday service, obviously the bus takes a little while. So I'm just waiting for the next bus to be due and then I shall be leaving. Guys, as you can see, I've left and it's quite muggy. It's like today, it's really hot. And I'm regretting putting that coat on Esme now because she's gonna sweat like in that because she's also got like a dress on and tights. So I feel really guilty now, like thinking, oh, like perhaps I should have just packed a cardigan or a jacket in her bag. And do you know what? I can't wait for Matt to um, do his fairy test on Thursday and hoping that he passes because I've literally got 33 minutes for the bus. And when I um, checked the bus, it said it was due in two minutes. So I've, I live literally about a couple of doors down from the bus stop. So I thought, oh, I, oh, I got plenty of time to leave. Well, the bus was up early. So now I've got to wait for a while for a bus. And I'm hoping like, that we've managed to get to the Carberry or wherever we're going in time because some time, like on a Sunday, it gets quite packed. And um, normally you have to book a table where we're going. But then after we still go there and um, we haven't booked the table or nothing. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we get there. If not, I just think we're just going to go and find somewhere local to just go and have something to eat and something to drink. But I'm actually get a pot of tea because I've been really fancy. I've been really craving tea. Um, I've not filmed my 20, 21 week update yet. I'm gonna wait till I get back. And fingers crossed, it should be up tonight. But if not, it's gonna be a day later and I go up tomorrow. But by the time you're watching this, it should already be live. So yeah, now I've got to wait for this bus, and it's just taking ages. And I'm hoping these videos are gonna start getting better soon. It's just obviously I'm still like quite new to it, and I'm still quite nervous. And I think like you could tell in a lot of my videos, I'm really nervous. So I'm just like trying my best to like sort of make it good for you and things. But yeah, so um, I'll let you know once I'm on the bus and hopefully the bus is not packed. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. I actually get back home to this bus is due because what it's saying 30, I think it's saying 32 minutes now. And then when I just checked my bus up, it's saying 19 minutes. And I, I like I said, I only live a couple of doors down from the bus stop. But I'm gonna see what, I just text my friend to see what it says up her end. So hopefully it's not staying that long. I'm hoping anyway. So yeah, I'm back home to wait for the bus. Like, cause I couldn't wait that long for a bus. Like, I wasn't waiting outside for that long for the bus. As I said, I only lived a couple of doors down from the bus stop anyway. But now it's saying I've got three minutes. So hopefully these three minutes go really fast. And Esme's still asleep. I'm surprised. Look, she's sang sang though still. And I've asked like from the time I've left my house, I've obviously come back home. And then I've left again and she's still asleep, so she must have been tired. And I got some people looking at me like I'm a right twat. But hey ho, they didn't know what I'm, they didn't know what I'm doing, do they? And we, they, all they could do was just ask, like, what are you filming yourself for? And I'll, I'll let them know. And again, for chopped sticks, and I got egg fried rice, noodles, catchy chicken, curry, sweet sour chicken, some um, salt and pepper chicken, and some spring rolls and some toast. We've got a trip into town, we're now on the way back, waiting for the buses and we have got a long wait for the bus. It was quite rubbish actually down there, like we tried to eat, everywhere we wanted to go for Carberry. They weren't doing Carberry or we couldn't take the kids in. So we ended up going to a Chinese noodle bar, which wasn't very nice to be honest, Joe, and I wouldn't go back. So now we, we're like, well, we got like a 23 minute wait for a bus now just to get back to where we live. Nice one. Back home now guys. <laughs> And I wouldn't recommend going to the place I went for dinner. It wasn't very nice. And yeah, we had a quick look around in some of the shops down there. And she's just, she was sat on the floor and she's banged, like she went forward and banged her desk and she's not very happy now. No, I wouldn't push her little bad tuddy peg to come through still, wouldn't they? But I gotta go and give her some tea, but I didn't know what to give her. No. I might just give her a lot of yogurt. I bought, I bought some shampoo too, because I don't ever use baby shampoo. I just not just use water, plain water on her hair. But I, I bought her some baby shampoo today, so I'm gonna give that a try. And I bought her a little a little bath bomb, so I'm gonna give her a little bath and a bath bomb. But it's alright, I'll be back. So I thought I'll give you a quick update on the um, Twinkie sort of cakes I bought yesterday in Pangland. And yeah, they are quite nice. They taste 
pretty much like a Twinkie. So if you're not willing to pay the price in some shops, obviously in England, because they, like, they are imported from America, but yeah, they're, um, if you don't want to like pay the price that some shops are asking, then get down to Poundland because to me, they didn't taste no difference. The chocolate ones are a little bit moister than the normal ones. So yeah, like I enjoy them and I shall be getting them instead of paying the prices in the other shops. In this little match, we're going to end the daily vlog here because we're both tired. We've had a bit busy couple of days and we've got a couple of busy days next week. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on and we'll see you tomorrow on the next daily vlog good night guys